film that I submitted along with my team for Film Lounge is called Marika, and it's about Marika Penterman, who emigrated from the Netherlands when she was in her, probably like her mid-twenties, and over the course of the last 10 plus years has very much built a kind of like a Gouda cheese-making empire in, in Thorpe, Wisconsin. And so in terms of cheesemakers in the world, like she's one of the most prominent of those. So, so that's what the film's about. When it comes to the making of cheese, it, it very much is its own subculture. And it's one of those things that I didn't know that much about before I went into it. Obviously, you do your research and you try to get a feel for what goes into it, the process. But one of the things that we wanted to do with the film is to explain this process for people. So with any documentary, with any film, like you want it to be entertaining, you want it to be enlightening. But with this one, we wanted there to be a certain educational component where people learned a little bit about the process. And so I think that we've done a pretty nice job of mixing mixing those various things together. One thread that's kind of become become clear in my recent film work is, is just this idea of creativity and making that a central component of a person's life. And a lot of people will say, you know, I'm not creative, uh, I don't have that, I don't have that energy. But I think that there's something creative in all of us. And my hope is that when, when people watch my films that they can kind of take a little bit of that away and, and think about how they can apply it to their own lives. One night I was tossing and turning and I heard a cow in the background and I thought, well, I want to start my own business. Uh, we have beautiful Wisconsin dairy milk here right on the farm and I'm missing my Gouda from Holland. Um, so I, I woke up my husband and I said, honey, I think I know what we should do. I think we should start making our own cheese, our own Gouda. And like every good husband, he says, yes, dear, uh, let's talk about it tomorrow. So he fell back to sleep and uh, my wheels were turning and that's where our, our next uh, adventure and our new passion started. Cows are just like human. Um, so when I walk between the cows, you will see some will interact a little bit more than others. Uh, some are nice, some are uh, more outgoing, some are rude, they're just like people. They all have their own character and, and it's funny. But in general you can see, because in our, if you walk through our barn, you will see different breeds of cows. So we have mainly Holsteins and then we have Brown Swiss cows and we have a mixture and then we have some Montebiada. Where a Holstein is a little bit more like, hey, let's shake hands, who are you? That's where a Brown Swiss says, hey buddy, and keeps hugging kind of type of cow um, so we really enjoy seeing the different breeds and um, yeah the cow is, is still it's not just a cow it's, it's a personality when we, we started this cheese adventure we, we wanted to make a traditional Gouda and for us it was very important to use all uh, world methods that um, that are very traditional to Holland. So when we got the idea to start making Gouda cheese, uh, I traveled back to Holland. Um, and I went to this lady that had 10 cows and she was the first one to see me, to show me these old methods that we are still using in our uh, cheese making process. Uh, some of those methods would be, uh, we wash the, uh, the curds. Um, that's one of the traditional way of making Gouda. You don't, uh, often here the, you wash the curds in whey, with Gouda you wash the curds in water. Uh, another uh, very essential way, true to the Dutch Gouda recipe, is that you don't put salt in by hand, uh, but you actually let the cheese soak up its own salt. Uh, another way is uh, the aging process. American cheese often gets vacuum packed and put in a cooler versus the Gouda way of making it. Um, so it comes out of the brine, it goes into our cheese. And what we do then is we, we hand brush a kind of a paint onto the cheese that dries up like a, like a skin around the cheese that will let the cheese breathe because it's a living mechanism. Um, cheese will lose moisture during the aging process. So this coating will let the, 
the moisture come through. And then we need wooden shells to help enhance the whole aging process of the cheese. So um, the moisture, the cheese, the wooden shells help us regulate a little bit the aging process because it will capture the, the moisture of the cheese. So if it's dry in the area, it will release some moisture and when it's uh, humid, it will capture some moisture. Um, the wooden shelves are very essential, but you need right protocols to make sure that you have a very safe product. And um, with the right protocols, it's a very safe way of eating your cheeses. It has been done for generations, and um, yeah, it's a very essential part of uh, true methods that we used uh, in Holland and that we wanted to take along to Thorpe, Wisconsin. I think at this moment we had more than 130 awards and um, uh, so we have been very blessed that way. But it's uh, that feedback on a daily uh, on the floor or we at, at shows, it's kind of funny when they put a piece of cheese in the mouth and you know how they always on the go and they just grab a piece of cheese and they go, they keep walking. And then we always say, wait, wait for it. And then they stop and then they go back, they walk back. <laughs> Uh, what kind of cheese was that? <laughs> and they want more, and they want to know more about it. So, um, yeah, that's kind of funny. What do I feel when when I walk into the aging room, um, seeing all those wheels? Um, what I feel when I come home and I can put my feet up and I eat a piece of cheese? Um, I feel it's um, like it's not just a piece of cheese. It's something you inhale, and and um, I had a lot of fun moments already. Well, with having cheese on a table, it, um, I'm proud. <laughs> I'm 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 amazed what this cheese has brought us so far. Um, I never thought when I started this adventure, I thought I would just make a couple times a week cheese and I would do this to uh, to get an income from my family and being able to stay at home and along the road I think something more uh, came um, yeah I'm, I'm very very super proud uh, all the people that came along that that helped us make this piece of cheese and and the people that I got to know um, the opportunities that it gave me yeah, that piece of cheese is uh, kick-ass. <laughs>
just enhancing some of the things that she had to say within the film.